everyone. This is Krista from Simply Breathe Now, and I'd like to welcome you to my April Plan With Me video. It is a little bit late this going out this time. Today is April 3rd, but as you'll see when we walk through March, I have had a very um, full-on March. I guess that's the way to say it. Um, so we'll dive right in to March. It feels so crazy to be um, doing this video like it's been ages after doing every single one in February every day. Now I feel like, oh, I haven't talked to you in a long, long time. So um, this is my members page for March. Um, I didn't do a lunar abundance because um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or any of other my social media, you know that my father passed away from cancer on the 5th of March. So which was right around when the full moon was, and I really just wasn't into setting an attention. But um, part of my Kundalini practice is to do a Cal, which is a meditation for the timeless, immortal, and deathless to honor the departed. And it also is very comforting for those who are left behind. And it's to allow the soul to merge back with the divine. So I did a little page for that instead of my lunar intention this um, month and then we have my habit tracker and my feeding my soul my mood tracker which is not as pretty as I was hoping it was going to turn out but it's okay <laughs> I don't know if I would do it again I was planning on doing a sham shamrock for every single day but my shamrock is too big it ended up being like so covered that I decided against doing that, which probably would have been prettier. Um, or maybe just doing all Zentangles or all colors. I'm not really sure. It didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, but it's okay. And then my gratitude, lots to be thankful for this month, definitely. And my word a day, as you can see, it was extremely up and down. Um, so much deep sadness at the beginning and then thrown back into March break so full on life even if I didn't want it to be and then kind of hitting sadness again but then feeling lots of love from friends so um yeah extremes very extreme that might be my word for the month of March extremes very up and very very down and I got really sick I had strep throat so I ended up being sick for most of this week um yeah, it was a very full on month. I didn't do a lot in Simply Breathe Now. If you've probably noticed that my posts have been on the lower end, just kind of surviving. Didn't do a lot as you can see. Um, oh, I did, I should have colored a bit of there because I did get two things done. <laughs> Not a lot done in Amian's either. Took a break from life really, that's what March was about. So, um, this is a weekly and then some dailies um, and then this spread I've left open. This is kind of going to be um, a little space for my dad that I want to do a little memory in here for. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do but I think I've figured it out now so when I have some time, some quiet time and some time that I want to dedicate to just being with my dad. I'm going to put some space there. Then we have another weekly. So I'm mixing my weeklies up. As you can see, I'm um, doing it kind of this way. Did This was March break and that was just a crazy week. And then daily is very simple March break. I ba barely did wrote down anything. And then I went back to this kind of way for my weekly and just doing a bl blog writing for my review instead of like breaking up into different categories um, more dailies and then I started doing this weekly which I've done now I think a couple weeks and where the weeks at the bottom I quite like this so I might stay this with this for a little while for some reason I thought the whole week should be a weekend <laughs> I think that's what I was hoping for it didn't work um, more dailies and then I was feeling so overwhelmed because of the amount of times I just basically was checked out of life but life keeps continuing if you like it to or not so I did a major brain dump 
Um, and the way this is, I just kind of I have some big areas that I was like, ah, they're just exploding. So, and then once I've kind of done the thing, I've highlighted it. And then this whole box is finished. The retreat was last weekend. So then I put a little cloud around it. So I have a few things done on some of the other areas, but now I have to go back and just make sure I get all these done. Um, and then I went on a retreat that was planned ages ago for nourished women, which you um, might have seen in some of my posts. And it's such, this was such a good weekend. I got lots of rest, surprisingly, because I don't normally sleep extremely well. I sleep well, but not as well as, like, not extremely, extremely well. Um, so I, my medication had finally kicked in. I slept well and I picked workshops that were really important to just kind of give myself love instead of doing some self-development work and it was perfect. The weekend couldn't have been better and I got to see a lot of people that just fill me up and it's so lovely. So this is my packing list and then I've left two pages for to do like the itinerary and add these little things that you get when... Um, when you do the different um, workshops, this is the song that we sing when we um, start. And then we have, so I'll just like do a little bit of writing and stuff when I have a chance to do that. Hopefully then this week so I don't forget all, a lot of things I want to do. And then I usually have my review here. Haven't done that. <laughs> There's a little bit of blank pages. And so I jumped right in and this is my um, start of April. So my memories page and this will be my lunar abundance, which is, I, I, my memory is serving me well. It's the 5th of April is when we are going to have our new moon. So I will hopefully be joining that back in. And then I've started my habit tracker and my feeding my soul. And my gratitude, I'm starting on, I'm going to do it on the diagonal. So I haven't really decided. I kind of thought I would do, um... I'll do this page and then come back and do this page, but I might get to here and go like this, but then I'm not sure what I'm going to do in this corner. So we'll see how it, how that works out as the time goes on. And then my mood tracker, I haven't drawn. I think I'm going to do um, cherry blossoms just because we've been pushing flowers in our house for the branches and it's just been so beautiful. So I might, um, I think I might do that. So it's just having time so if you can see in pencil down here if I don't get my mood tracker drawn in time which has been a, several months now that that hasn't happened I just write down what my mood is and then I'll go and fill it in when I get it done so then start of April so we are on the third so I've started um, what I've been doing and I've had some good sleeps which is nice I haven't done any of my planning for simply breathe now which I'm hoping to do later this afternoon so fingers crossed I get a chance to do that. I still have my newsletter, have to get stuff to the printers, I'm doing this video now, and I have my March post to do and my April post to do for Simply Breathe Now. Hoping to get that all done this afternoon. We will see how good, how good I am at getting all that done. It's been a really busy day so far this morning. Um, so my Simply Breathe Now um, just plan in my projects for this month. We got a lot going on, though I don't know how I'm ever going to get over to the new house to renovate it. And then my brain, and then we start into the weekly for this week. And then I'm trying to do um, my dailies a little bit different, like in two columns. This is my Wednesday. Can you see how much I've done so far? It's just around lunchtime, and I am just, I've done so much because I have so much to catch up on. So that is my really quick flip through for um, March and April. Not a lot that's different. I did drop my word of the month just because I was kind of feeling like I got so much going on. I just don't need one more thing. Um, I hope that you found this enjoyable and uh, sorry that it's late. Hopefully I can kind of get back on track in April and my garden journal is coming out this month. I'm really, really excited. Um, stay tuned for that announcement. I'm a little bit behind on the, the printers, but it is coming out. So stay tuned. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Thanks. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.